I am Anil Kumar. In this example, we will learn how to find derivatives when general expressions are given using first principle or difference quotients method. The question here is, find the derivative as a limit of difference quotients for the function f of t equals to a plus bt plus ct squared where a, b and c are constants. So we are given the function f of t equals to this derivative which could be written as f dash t is basically equal to limit h approaches 0 for f of t plus h minus f of t over h. So let's replace t with t plus h to write the first function. So we get limit h approaches 0 for a plus b times t plus h plus c t plus h whole square that's the first part minus f of t copy it as such a plus b t plus c t square over h now to expand we will apply the distributive property i hope you remember what is a plus b whole square so let me write down here a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square so we are going to use this formula to expand the term given right so we get limit h approaches 0 we get a plus bt plus bh plus so we get three terms First is t square, then 2 times th, and then h square, right? So expanding, we get c times t square plus 2 times c t h plus c times h square. Perfect. So what we did was, we did two things. We expanded using the formula multiplied by c. And now from here, we'll take away 1 plus bt plus ct square. Everything divided by h. So what you will notice at this stage is all the terms which do not have h will cancel. So these three terms, a, then we got bt, look for it. ct square, ct square, right? So these will cancel. What remains is all the terms with h then you can take h common, correct? So let me first rewrite what is left. So we have bh plus 2cth plus ch square divided by h. So as expected, we have h common in the numerator. So we could write this as limit h approaches 0, h times b plus 2ct plus ch divided by h. Now the common factors h and h can cancel and at this stage you can substitute h equals to 0 and find the general expression for the derivative. Substituting 0 we get b plus 2 ct. So that becomes the derivative of the function. So we can write down our answer that for this given function derivative is b plus 2ct. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Caution. Always look that these three terms will cancel. If they don't, that means you might have done something wrong. At times, students may just write a square plus b square for getting 2ab. That makes a huge difference. So again, I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can always post questions for immediate answers. Thanks for watching and all the best.